Welcome booty babes. Today we're gonna to be working on that upper booty, so that top shelf of yours, and this is gonna be a great workout for that, and especially because uh, it's gonna be short, quick, and effective. So come grab your booty bands. I'm also gonna be utilizing the long bands over here, so those will be great, and uh, let's get started. So a couple different things with this long band I'm gonna show you on either holding it with your hands or actually placing it onto like a, like a bench or something or even like a railing or something that's kind of sturdy. So a couple different ways, I'll show you that a little bit later. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, in your position here, we're gonna go into kickbacks and when we go into kickbacks, again, you always wanna keep that core nice and tight. Um, you wanna try to stay away from any like movement in your back and again, that will put all the focus into your booty. So here we go, with a flex, I keep my feet, or I'm sorry, I keep my knees about shoulder distance apart or hip distance apart and then I flex my foot and kick it back with a nice little pulse up at the top. All right, here we go. Come join me, if you haven't joined me yet, Drop down onto your mat, grab that booty band, place it around your thighs, and let's get the best burn of our life, starting now. I like to kind of go at a little bit of an angle here, so if I try to spread my legs a little bit more and more wider each time, I start to feel the activation of the glutes a lot more than if I were to bring the knees closer together. So keep your knees further apart. Good, and those little pulses up at the top, you're really gonna feel it. Now let's go ahead and switch to the other side. You always wanna keep your spine nice and straight, so notice how I'm just looking straight at the ground. So make sure that you're just taking a little mental note here. Your spine is straight. Great, so now I'm gonna show you that if you don't have anything to prop your long band on, you're actually just gonna use your feet for this. So you're gonna place it around one foot, preferably more around the front of your toes. The band's gonna go more around like your ankles so it's sturdy. You place the long band onto your hips and then you're just gonna press forward. And that is going to be where we're gonna get a nice good kneeling hip thrust. Now if you feel like you wanna go a little bit more advanced, what I like to do is I find something sturdy in my house. It could be like your couch um, or something that you can basically just fold it and ravel it into something, um, in which I'm gonna do really quick right here so that you can see. Now I just step into the band. The further you walk away from the point it's held, harder it's gonna be. I keep my knees really nice and wide about the distance of the mat. My big toes are together, I send my hips back, and I squeeze up. Beautiful work. Getting those glutes nice and warmed up at this point. Next one we're gonna go into is our glute uh, hydrants. Okay, so for this one, this one's gonna be a really great one, um, especially for that upper booty. So as we just bring that knee out, I like to really make sure that my foot is following along with it. So instead of like this, make sure that ankle is in line with that knee. And then if you're not feeling it at all through the movement, make any little micro movements, let's go ahead and begin. Good, you should start filling that burn. Let's go ahead and now repeat to the other side. Oh, no. 
Beautiful. And then we're gonna superset that with something that's a little bit elevated. So you can either use a ball, you can use, let's say like a pillow cushion, um, you can use a chair, whatever it is. What you do is you're just gonna rest your hips onto something that's elevated. Hold on to something that allows you to have some stability. Drop those knees down and lift those glutes up. Now you wanna make sure that you're really using those glutes and you're not filling your lower back. And so how you do that, I make sure my knees are nice and wide, my, my heels are pressing together, and I'm just focusing on squeezing my glutes and not doing any like swinging motions or anything like that. Very slow and controlled, nice good squeezes. Great work and your booty should definitely be on fire. Now we're gonna go ahead and do that again. This time we're gonna add some weight. And of course a heavier band. So because my booty's on fire, I don't wanna go right into the next workout. I wanna make sure that I'm being able to lift enough. Um, and so I'm gonna go right into abs and uh, allow myself, my booty to, to get rested so I can lift heavy weight. Now that's if you're looking to get more enhance and growing of your booty. Versus if you're trying to tone up, you can kind of keep that circuit mentality where you're just kind of like working out, working out, working out on those muscles because you're focusing on those high reps and really lightweight, right? But if you're trying to really bubble that booty, then what I do is I um, raise the weight and lower my reps. So you'll see that the first round, our warm up was a little bit higher reps now you'll start to see that my reps will be a little bit lower on this one. So kind of change it up to whatever your goals are and flip to the other side. Awesome. All right, when you're ready again, this is, um, you can take a little bit more time in your abs. But let's go ahead and get started into a little bit heavier resistance band and start all over again. I'm gonna show you how I'm just enhancing the workout with a heavier resistance band and also a dumbbell, just uh, rest on my leg. Now you can see here that I have socks here, so it's a lot of cushion. You could even wrap a booty band around it to make it feel a little bit better on that back of the knee. Here we go. Pulse. Again, make those knees nice and wide from each other. When you're coming down, try to keep that hip distance. Beautiful, other side. Good, I'm gonna move quickly into my next one so I get that nice, good superset. 
Okay, Marley, move, baby. Good boy, move. Move, move, move. You can double up the resistance bands, or right now I'm just throwing on the black a little heavier. And you can either use like dumbbells, a barbell, or no weight is fine too. Here we go. And I am feeling those glutes on fire. Are you feeling this? I can hear you, just let me know. No, just kidding, I can't, but that'd be pretty funny. I can hear you in the Facebook group, so tell me what you think of this workout in the Facebook group, okay? Or you can actually respond to me right in this app. Go in the comment section. Whew. Those felt so good, I just wanted to keep going. Stay right here, little pulses to finish it off. Pulse, pulse. Oh my goodness. I might need a little break for that next one, which is good, you wanna push yourself. Nice good little stretch here. So just sending that weight into that straight leg. Nice good stretch. How about let's go right into some abs. We might go a little over today. Hopefully you're okay with that. Okay, right into some abs. So starting at a reverse pyramid with the abs, we're gonna go into our planking and just touch each shoulder. You can either go into um, on your feet, you can be on your elbows, or you can be on your knees. Literally there's a lot of modifications. Just choose whatever position works best for you. Awesome. Hold that plank. Getting mentally prepared for that last round of the booty. I'm excited. It's gonna feel amazing. I do these a lot, these uh, side dips. I personally find them to snatch your waist a lot tighter than any other ab exercise. So you'll see me do them a lot, like in between my workouts, a lot of people will sit and rest in the gym. You'll always see me just dropping down and just doing some sort of safe abdominal exercise. It really just starts to shrink that waist while you're lifting the weights. It's personally something I've always done, and I'll share that with you. All right. I think we're ready for that next round. So we're gonna go into the clams, or I'm sorry, the hydrants. Kind of clams, a little similar. I'm gonna use a little lighter weight on this one um, because when I'm doing a kickback, you're using like a lot uh, bigger of a muscle, which is your maximus. Now I'm going it to the side and I'm working smaller muscles here. So core tight and you're just gonna lift and lower. You can always make it even harder. You don't have to put weight on your leg, by the way. I'm just really extreme. Um, but if you wanna make it harder, you can even lower that band down, all right? So I'm gonna make it a little challenging today. We're gonna lift with a little pulse and down. Yep, lift, pulse, and down. Breathe and keep that core nice and tight. Switch sides. If 
feeling that booty? Oh my goodness. I feel that top shelf growing right now. Getting to a point where I couldn't lift that weight anymore. That was a good feeling. Okay, and then, now of course, if you have issues with balance, please do not use a ball. This is something I would not recommend to anyone if you've got balance issues. Definitely more of an advanced part with the ball. You could do this again, like I said, by putting just like a, a pillow, like a cushion or something underneath you. And then for advanced, I'm just gonna add the weights behind my legs. Does your balance, can it get better with age? Yes, it can. I've noticed my balance has gotten a lot better as I get older and older. That's because I'm just staying consistent with it. Good, I'm gonna drop those down and finish it off with some pulses. Again, knees are nice and wide and heels come together. Hold up at the top, pulse, pulse. I had double balance. I was balancing on rolling barbells <laughs> and balancing with a rolling ball. It was quite a challenge with the balance there. All right, great work on that upper booty. Fabulous job. It's all about staying consistent is really where you're gonna see the results. So I'm so proud of you guys today. Tell me what you guys think about today's workout in the comment section. Bye everyone. Let me show you the secret on how you can cut fat and keep your curves. Did you know that when you're losing weight, you're actually losing three things, water, fat, and muscle. And losing your muscle, that's like losing your metabolism. Skipping meals and dieting can actually lower your resting metabolism up to 20% a day. The secret is lifting weights and maintaining your muscle will actually speed your metabolism up. The Booty Bands and Barbells program is designed to build lean muscle that will cut the fat and keep your curves. Put yourself first, act now, you feeling great and your new transformation can start today.